Yo, what's good, everyone? Welcome back to another Empire Watch Club. Today is going to be very different. We're not going to sit at a desk and talk about watches. I'm not going to bore you guys to death. I'm going to take you guys along for a ride and go get my Grail watch. Woo! I'm going to be collecting a Paddock 5980 all rose gold. That has been my Grail watch for years. After two and a half to three years of waiting, I finally get the call from my AD. Now, I want to give my AD a big shout out. Jing Sen Yi, King Sign. They are amazing. I have built up my relationship with them. I have put in my blood, sweat, and tears, and a lot of money. I'll give you guys a little bit of a market recap for 2020 in the paddocks. So earlier on, because of COVID, the market kind of hit just a big dip. You know, all the prices went down about 15, 20% of all the Nautilus and the Aquanauts. But then about three, four months ago, the prices started going back up and it has remained very, very strong. And when I say strong, it's, it's pretty much back where it used to be or more, you know, like it, it's actually pretty crazy how strong the market is right now. And I will be keeping an eye on all the auctions and what's going on in the gray market. But I did notice that PP has upped their MSRP about 10%. And that has affected the secondhand market and the gray market as well. So the 5980s I see, at least in Taiwan, are all trading above 5 million NTP. I, I would say it's 175,000 USD. I think that is on par with the rest of the world. That's pretty much back where it used to be. And I do believe that it'll probably maintain. Hopefully it'll keep going up. But I am very, very lucky that my AD is giving me my 5980. So, I will be having to think about moving some watches around. I might have to sell off a couple watches. Anyway, going to pick up my grill watch. See you guys there. Well, here it is. My grill watch. I, uh... I feel like I've accomplished something. This is a... I should say for so long. I think it's because I'm afraid that you know, people who get it, they flip it. And if they buy it, they will buy it higher. Because it's a new one. When I open it, well, it's not brand new anymore. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the honors and uh, I'm going to show you guys. Okay, this is a real opening. Here we go. No, I'll just open it. Okay, well, this is a cute little PP watch. It's not, it's not like a PP scissor, but it's still a scissor. It says PP on it. <laughs> I'm not crying. <laughs> Let's do this. Ooh, it's air sealed. Okay, this guy is just needed. This is very important. Man, look at that. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Finally got it. Look at that. Oh, I am mesmerized. How the dial, I mean, I've seen it before, but now it's my own. It has the old traditional clasp. Okay, it's not the butterfly, like the 5740, I remember the butterfly one. Um, but the finishing on the uh, the inside of the bracelet is polished how the bezel is brushed uh, the dial but it's more gray to me and uh, yeah this looks so beautiful like this the dial is like chocolate it's dark but it kind of changes colors and it's so heavy 
loving it. it it's thick usually i like thin watches but this is oh this is so that is my grail watch yes i finally got it Woo! yes <laughs> All right, so um, I'm glad my windows are tinted because people will think I'm crazy. Uh, yeah, I can't wait to show Dizzy. She's going to love this. Um, well, it's, it's on my size right now, so hopefully she won't wear it. But I, I have a feeling she's definitely going to want to wear it. It's, it's so nice. It's so awesome. I will do like a review on this later on, but uh, just, just let me enjoy this, guys. And I uh, hope you guys like this vlog. Let me know what you think about this watch, all right? It's it's my grail watch, yes. Uh, if all the haters out there are hating on this, keep hating because I got it at retail. Um, yes, I paid for a bunch of other stuff, but still, it makes me feel better. I got this at retail. All right, peace on the next one. See you guys.